Hello dear students and uh, welcome back to English with Professor Tabassum. In today's video we will discuss um, second year English model question paper for final exams. So it is different when compared to first year. First year is only 80 marks and 20 marks practical. But in second year you have a 100 mark paper for 3 hours. Okay. So section A. Annotate any two of the following in about 100 words each. So out of three, any two you have to do. Each carries four marks and total of eight marks. I have frequently found myself growing less dogmatic and cocksure through realizing the possible reasonableness of a hypothetical opponent. So this is taken from how to avoid foolish opinions. Okay, the pros. Undoubtedly, women in ancient India enjoyed a much higher status than their descendants in the 18th and 19th centuries. So, the second one is taken from the awakening of women. Third one, the view of this world which India has taken is summed up in one compound Sanskrit word, Sachid Ananda. So, this is taken from the religion of the forest prose. Okay, so the first bit contains annotations from the prose. Okay. Annotate any two of the following in about 100 words each. So these are annotations from the poems. Again, you have to write any two out of the three. Each carries four marks, total of eight marks. We are meeting today to wish her born voyage. This is taken from Goodbye Party for Miss Pushpati's yes, poem. And seems to one in drowsiness, half lost, the grasshoppers among some grassy hills. This is taken from On the Grasshopper and Cricket Poem. It is said that before entering the sea, a river trembles with fear. This is taken from the poem Fear. Okay, So these were the annotations from the poems. So first bit, annotations from the prose lessons. Second bit, annotations from the poems. Now let us come to the third bit. Annotate any two of the following in about 100 words each. 2 into 4, again. Out of three, any two, each carries four marks, total of eight marks. First one, travel is an excellent educator, explained with reference to Russell's essay, How to Avoid Foolish Opinions. So, this is taken from How to Avoid Foolish Opinions. So, these, the third bit is about question answers from the prose lessons. How did APJ Kalam encourage Vasudevan and what has been the outcome? So, this is taken from The Awakening of Women. Sketch the character of Jim in the light of Marianne's comments like, It is the same, but how did it get into Jim's pocket? So this is taken from Guilty One Act Play. Okay. Now coming to the fourth bit, answer any two of the following questions in about 100 words each. Again, out of three, any two. Each carries four marks, total of eight marks. What is the theme of the poem on the grasshopper and cricket? So this, these are the question answers from the poems now. So, the first one is taken from On the Grasshopper and the Cricket. Describe the feelings of the child when she knew that she was dead at the age of seven. So, this is taken from the poem Hiroshima Child. What do the children implore the mother in the poem Awake? So, this is taken from the poem Awake. Now, coming to the last bit, answer any two of the following questions in about 100 words each. So, out of three, any two. Each carries four marks, a total of eight marks. So, these are question answers from the short stories. What did Satish's mother advise him about strangers? How did Arun and Satish react to her advice? So, this is taken from a woman on platform number eight short story. Love, sacrifice and generosity are the essential elements for happy living. Explain this statement with reference to the story A Gift for Christmas. So this is taken from the short story A Gift for Christmas. What was the Baron's wish? Was it fulfilled? So this is taken from Lost short story. Okay. So the first, uh, first section, the complete section, section A is all about question answers, annotations from prose, poetries and short stories. Okay, now let us come to section B. In section B, you will get one seen passage and one unseen passage. Now, bit number 6 is a seen passage. Read the following passage carefully and answer any four questions given after it in a word or a sentence each. So, this is taken from a short story. You can see it's doc written here, Dr. Raman. So, it is taken from the doctor's word short story. Okay, 
so you need to answer four questions each carries one mark and you will get four marks these are the questions which are going to be asked from the short story then bit number seven is again a passage you need to answer some questions but this one is an unseen passage the question will also be the same only the passage is different okay so again out of six any four four marks then an advertisement in bit number eight study the advertisement given below and answer any four questions given after it so uh, out of six any four questions you need to answer uh, in the exam they'll have a larger picture of this advertisement okay not to worry and it would be really clear so you need to look into uh, the advertisement for the answers of these questions any four you can answer so very easy to score read the bar graph below and answer any four questions given after it again a bar graph is given and some questions based on that simply you can just answer these questions okay and get four marks now coming to section c rewrite the following passage sentences using eight punctuation marks wherever necessary so you can just punctuate this using a comma a full stop or wherever proper nouns are used you can have capital letters okay so each punctuation mark carries half mark total of four marks so any eight punctuation marks you need to find see here you have to put a full stop okay full stops are also punctuation marks and in the exam they will not give this capital they'll give it small okay there's a printing mistake here now coming to bit number 11 match any four of the following words in column a with their meanings definitions in column b so here are some words they are called one word substitutes in your uh, textbook index you can look okay and uh, here are the meanings for example feast feast means a large meal so you'll match it with e teetotaller someone who doesn't take alcohol herbarium is a collection of dried plants garage a place of for keeping cars calligraphy the art of good handwriting anonymous not identified by name of unknown name okay so but in the exam you should not write all this and then match no you're just supposed to write one two three and a b c d that's it bit number should be correct okay so you can easily earn four marks bit number 12 fill in any four blanks in the following sentence with suitable idiomatic expressions given below make necessary changes in the idioms if needed okay so idioms are given here but if you don't know the meaning then you cannot fill this up okay so you need to learn the meaning of each idiom given in your textbook each carries one mark total of four marks for example by a whisker by a whisker means what it means a score so where would it fit it would fit the f in the first one finally our team lost dash and i was disappointed our team lost by a whisker by a small score and i was disappointed a c change means a large change so where would it fit there is dash in the behavior of the culprit after his release from the prison a c change a big change thick skin thick skin means someone who uh, can tolerate a lot of criticism okay a politician needs a thick skin in a nutshell in a nutshell means in brief you need to explain let me explain the proceedings in a nutshell so in this way if you know the meanings then you can fill this up okay now let us move on to the next bit make four meaningful sentences from the verb pattern given below so verb pattern you need to understand the meaning of the headings then you can do it properly first uh, you have to prepare four sentences then you'll get one mark for each sentence and total of four marks now the one mark it won't include the first sentence many students do this mistake they uh, assume the first sentence to already be written no this is just an example you have to create four more then you will get four marks okay for example i wrote this story so you you can write i wrote um, a novel i wrote a poem or i gave a chocolate i gave a book i gave uh, a toy so any four sentences you prepare and you'll get the marks okay but it has to be a transitive verb transitive verb is something that requires an object to complete its meaning okay so make sure you use a verb 
after which you definitely require an object bit number 14 fill in any eight blanks of the given bank form based on the information furnished below so here's some information given in the form of a paragraph and you'll get this form okay in the exam you don't need to draw this form you just write number one answer number two answer okay so you how would you get the answers for example number one it's labeled here number one is branch so you have to look for the branch name in this paragraph now okay here SBI Hanumakonda main branch so branch name is given here so you'll just write number one in your answer sheet number one Hanumakonda similarly amount amount where are they asking here they are asking number five so number five you will write number five dash 3600 so bank account number where are they asking bank account number on top they will ask so in different forms they will ask in different places so you'll get a deposit slip you'll get a DD form, you'll get a railway form. So based on the form, you have to search for information in the paragraph and just fill it up. And whichever information is not there, for example, mobile number it is asking over here, but there is no mobile number mentioned here, then what would you do? You have to write your own, but never leave it empty. Okay, so you can easily earn four marks. If you find eight, each carries half mark. Okay bit number 15 prepare a, a curriculum vitae in response to the following advertisement uh, so we hear a pamphlet is given of Vasavi public school you just prepare a CV okay the format for CV I would be discussing again in the further upcoming videos okay so CV carries four marks if your format is correct in the exam they'll mainly check your format and inside you can write accordingly okay so you'll earn four marks Describe about the statue of equality using the hints given below. So over here you need to use these hints and prepare a paragraph. Okay. So not only these hints you have to use but you have to add up some extra sentences also related to it. Okay. So you need to study about these topics. Uh, the most common ones which have been asked is regarding the statue of equality. They will maybe ask you to describe your mother which was asked last time and march boards so it carries uh, four marks and you can earn four marks just use this and then start preparing a paragraph basically this is used to check your organization of sentences how would you organize your sentences okay so over here they are ask, giving you a choice also describe how you and your friends made arrangements for the college day function so you can just describe that also using these hints now okay you would like to know the procedure you have to follow if you lost a library book write an inquiry letter to the librarian requesting for information so over here you need to write a letter but how would you identify the letter you're writing to the librarian come on it is a formal letter you want to meet the librarian every day and you cannot write in an um, informal language to her so you have to write a formal letter so you can earn four marks but you have a choice here you can write earn informal letter also formal letter for librarian informal letter to a friend telling him about the new college you recently joined this is even more easier right but in the exam for the letter and cv and the resume your format matters if your format is wrong then you may lose the marks okay good format length in your answers and good handwriting Coming to bit number 18, read the following passage and make notes, add a suitable title. This is the most easiest one, okay. This uh, this passage is given and I have actually made a video on uh, note making. You can uh, always check that out to understand note making better. There are many ways to make a note, okay. For In this one, you just have to uh, make uh, very short notes, okay. Have a suitable title and make very short notes like uh, number one, um parts of the brain or three main divisions of the brain very very short notes then second point there are three parts of the brain cerebrum medulla oblongata and cerebellum okay you can just write all those things and your notes are done so at least five to six sentences you write you need to get four marks right okay mark the stress for any eight of the following words each carries half mark total of four marks so eight you have to do then you will get four marks okay out of ten 
I have already done a video on word stress but I would very soon do another video on word stress and you can always check that out okay now bit number 20 imagine you got the first rank in intermediate first year your close friend came to congratulate you how do you share your experience with him write a dialogue between you and your friend so over here you have to write a dialogue they'll always give you a choice okay uh, an informal dialogue and a formal dialogue so um, this one is informal and you have a choice like you can write a dialogue between a customer and a salesman as well uh, who has sold a defective apparel so this again carries four marks any one you have to do okay if you have any problem in grammar then you can always check out the playlist for inter second year english